All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around video. I had some requests for this um, of my 2004 Jeep LJ for sale. Um, I'll try to remember all the stuff that's on here. So we'll just start off on the front. Um, have my uh, Ramsey, uh, Ramsey uh, 8.5K winch with a synthetic line there. Uh, the winch controls are, I have some that's under the hood or I have some that's um, on the dash. Um, the front bumper is a savvy aluminum bumper with the uh, with the hard I forget what they call it hardcore rock um, ends or whatever they call that thing. And below I have the uh, aluminum uh, skid guard for the steering gear. Um, that is a brand new PSC steering gear. I think it's over a thousand bucks, so I want to protect that. Um, underneath here have the Curry Correct Link steering with um, hydraulic assist steering there too on a Rock Jock. I'm sorry, not Rock Jock, a uh, Dana 44 with um, the upgraded, I don't know if you can see those, the upgraded JK uh, E joints. Also running the um, Black Magic. Um, big brake kit for the 17 inch rims and these things are just unbelievable overkill um, I could lock up the brakes on this front end just stomp on the brakes and this thing freaking locks up these huge tires Really impressive super fun to drive like this, you know, you have the confidence you can stop before any other car It's just unbelievable. Love it um, Fox shock I have another video showing the uh, articulation of this, or at least attempted to. Um, Genrite aluminum fenders, four inch flares, and uh, trail ready beadlock rims. Tires are uh, MTR, 35 inch. And what else we got? The truck light, LED headlights. Got rid of the stock ones, these things are absolute junk. Um, inside the radiator, there's the uh, Cooling for uh, the steering, hydraulic assist steering. Um, right there, get a lot of questions about this. This is a siren. And I'll do another video on that. Got a ton of requests. What, what, do, I, what, do, what do I mean to have the siren on here? So show that thing in action. Um, up top, have the uh, Louvered um, hood by Poison Spider. Of course, they got their spider on it. Um, 50 inch light bar up top, ridiculous amount of light, way overkill, but it works. Um, on the sides are, it's kind of hard to see, it's all black, but these are the Savi um, rock sliders. All installed, nice fit. Awesome thing about these is the inner side right here, this is, this right here is all aluminum right there. And then this is steel. This is super easy to remove. Remove all these bolts up here, take them off, paint them, bolt them back on. This thing never, hardly, uh, never gets scratched, so you don't have to worry about it. So awesome design, really cool. Um, up top here, have the Savi um, tub guard. So you wanna protect this rails up here. Another really good product, nice and clean, all stainless steel. Um, I got it, I polished it out just to make it look a little bit better. And since I had it, never touched it, this thing stays nice and shiny. It looks awesome. So, um, this has aluminum uh, panels back here, protecting panels and corners from Genrite. Also with the Genrite aluminum 4-inch fender flares, which are removable. And I'll show you on the other side. It's nice when you get to, like if you go to Johnson Valley, you're gonna get into those. So it's nice to remove them before you go out there and um, play in the rocks, that way you save them. And just, it's only three bolts, bolt them back up, no problem. Inside here, you can see that rear shocks are bent outboarded, have the um, external reserve, and there's nine adjustments of compression adjustments. I don't know if you could see this. Adjustment tab, it's right here. So you can just 
click to adjust as you see fit. You want firmer ride, softer ride, you got it. Uh, anti-rock in the rear, and there's also anti-rock in the front. I don't know if you saw that or not in the video. Down bottom we have um, the Savvy Aluminum uh, skid plate for the gas tank. And there's a Rock Jock 60 with um, ARB locker. The front is a has a Detroit locker. And I don't know if you can see right in there, there's my fan. That's external uh, transmission fan. And that kicks on when the transmission gets to 180 degrees. It'll stay on until it cools back down. Um, this Jeep does have a one inch body lift, but it's hard to tell because it's been kind of modified. You can see these uh, body mount supports. They're gen rights. They're, uh, I think, like twice as thick as stock. Stock ones were all bent to crap. Um, these, are, these sit up an inch higher and they're a lot thicker, so they're not going to get damaged. All new body mounts on the Jeep all the way around. And you can see the uh, aluminum skid plate, tummy tuck, sits virtually flat with this aluminum skid plate for the engine. Goes all the way to the front. Nice tuck and high tucked up there. I'll get a picture in the back here. Let's see that. Wow, that Jeep is just, I mean, it's just flat. Doesn't hang up on the rocks. We used to have a long arm in here and I get hung up all the time. Thing worked like crap. Had this mid arm put on by Blaine Johnson. And what a difference. I mean, this thing is just rock solid. Climbs. The geometry on this thing is just awesome. I've climbed things, I went up straight, straight up rock faces and it's just unbelievable how balanced this thing feels. It doesn't feel nose heavy. Um, just awesome. Let's see what I'm missing here. Um, here's the back with the LED tail lights that are red and have the Genrite um, LED tail lights. Real small, fits right against the bumper but super bright. The bumper is right tucked right up against the back of the Jeep and have the um, three inch receiver put in there. So if you ever need to hone, tow anything, got it. Um, on this side here, I went ahead and pulled off that fender so you can see. Three bolts, thing comes right out. Now you got all kinds of clearance for the rocks. You don't have to worry about messing them up. Works really good. And uh, back here we have the roto packs. One inside, have them set up for water. Um, these are made so you can also add on another roto pack. So you can carry four of them, two on each side if you want. My thought was to put fuel back there if I had, ever had the need but um, never had a problem running out of gas on the trail. But it's nice to carry the extra water. Um, I think that's a bit about it for the outside. I can't think of anything else. Um, if I missed anything, you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment or get a touch with me, with me and I'll be happy to answer questions.